Welcome to Washita County Artisans. This is a continuation in our installation of the ambient weather system. Now, as you can notice behind me is our old weather system that has seen better days. And what we're going to do, we're going to replace this system with the new system. And I've got my weather station out here in the open. It is along the fence line. Uh, don't want it out here where I got to mow around it. I got enough stuff to mow around the way it is. So uh, we're going to come out here and take this down. Now, what I have done is I use this old two before for the system for the for the weather system and I have used uh, some u-bolts to hold it on to a t-post which in reality they want you to have it a lot firmer than on a t-post the problem is in this country for me maybe not for you but for me is I'd rather have just a little bit of jiggle when the wind really gets high uh, than not. So that's why I go ahead and use a T-post and also it is more convenient for me. So what I did, I come in here and I put these T-posts up and of course you got to come out here and trim around it once in a while and I'm not too good at that. I'm not too good at the trim. <laughs> but it works out pretty good uh, where I have it located currently. And I'm taking these nuts off, these U-bolts, and setting up the new system is going to be set a little differently. Uh, I've got another uh, board that I'm going to be using for this. It's a little better wood than what this one is. This was kind of one of those uh, scraps that I had. Uh, it's a pallet, it's part of a pallet. And I'm a pallet maniac, if you've ever noticed. But anyway, U-bolt uh, is the way I, I put these on the T-post, is using a U-bolt. Now, these are just stuck on there. And when I moved it from up in the orchard it was kind of a hurry up deal, so I just kind of threw it up here. So I've got my U-bolt one off. The next one will take down the, the entire system that I have up here. And I'll be honest with you, it's not real tight anyway. But uh, we're gonna get her down. And then we're going to uh, install our new system, our ambient weather system. And I hope my audio is doing well today. I did use my microphone, uh, that it's a, it's a lapel, lapel microphone or whatever they call it. So there's the old system. That's the old system. That's the old jewel. She's done good. Uh, I'm not complaining about this system. I just wanted to try something different. And this one has taken care of us very well. Uh, I, I just wanted something different. And I did get a little bit put out with it when it quit uh, downloading to my computer. But as you notice here, I have an anemometer problem. In other words, one of the cups got busted. And it got to the point that I would come out and I would take this off and I would put a little bit of uh, lubrication on it. I started to say grease because <laughs> I'm a grease man. I like grease. But I would suggest that it's been around so many times, it's, it's just flat wore out. So that's our, our uh, old weather system. And I'm going to get the other one 
get it ready to install back out here on this T post. Uh, and this is at the uh, east side of our uh, home, the home part of our, our ranch. And it's down here by the, uh, the pasture. So we're going to get this going. And uh, I'll just kind of link in as we, as we get this accomplished today. So I'll be back. Welcome back, Washita County Artisans. All right, I've got my outfit here mounted on my board. Got me some holes cut in my board down here for my U-bolts. So we're going to try to get this mounted on this post. So what I'm gonna do, put this right about here. Oh, get my U-bolts in there. I may have to get a little bit grumpy with it. I did somewhere in all my pockets. I brought an attitude adjuster. Let's see if I can get this in there. I know y'all are enjoying that. But that's kind of what you got to do. And then you smash your thumb. That hurt bad. Oh, goodness me. So I'm going to get my thumb out of the way. And I probably got that in too far now. There we go. Huh. Huh. The pain that I go through to do good things. So anyway, man, I tell you, that hurt really bad. Oh, goodness. That's just part of it. That's part of working on stuff. And that's what happens when you get one of these adjusters, the attitude adjusters, is it adjusts the attitude of your thumb. That'll probably swell up after a while. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. Ah. So here's the deal. If Miss L was over here holding that, it'd have been her thumb instead of mine. I'm gonna keep that thumb back. Cause that made me hurt myself. Now I'm using these same old U-bolts. Putting them back on the U part goes on the uh, the post, the T post. The other part, the flat part here, it'll go on this good two before that I have. I actually done a better job doing this one. So. Maybe I won't smash my thumb completely off. That was bad. <laughs> I tell you what. Mm. Mm. Here, Miss L, suck on that thumb a little bit. Maybe it'll feel better. Kiss it. Oh, it's turning purple. Oh, no. What I do for the weather. Oh, focus. She says focus. All right. Here we go. Oh. Now then, that's going to be about where I want it. I've got to pull those up and see if that's going to stay like it needs to be. So rather than 
letting you guys see me hurt myself again. I'll be back. We're back. Here's the thing is I got the stand up, the piece of wood that I use. I've got this old, I go the wrong way here. That come off a no satellite dish that was around here. So I reused it. Yeah, I did. I'm always reusing stuff. I've got it up there and as best as I can, it's level like it's supposed to be. It is pointing north. That way's north, that way's east that you see here. So now we've got to go in and see what else we need to do to this thing to make it work. Because we have to have the receiver and that's going to be in the house. So we're gonna go in here and do a little bit of uh, study on how to get this thing to connect to the receiver and hopefully that it will work, uh, work great. Uh, that's kind of what we're looking for. I didn't go ahead and film me putting all this together. It didn't take very long, uh, but at least I didn't hurt myself again. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh man, I tell you what, sometimes things just happen. That's the way it goes. But I had Miss L out here in case I fell off the ladder. I've been up on the ladder. Uh, that way she could watch and see as I fell off and then she could laugh at me. So anyway, we've got it up. As you see, the anemometer is going. Uh, it is showing uh, the direction of the wind and we'll see what it does on the rest of it. So we've got it this far. So we'll get back with you here in just a little bit. See you in a bit. Welcome back. We got the weather station all put up yesterday. Even though I did have a little mishap. Never allow your thumb to get in the way of your hammer. It is, uh, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it does bruise it up a little bit. <laughs> Oh, well, I've had worse. There's no doubt about that. But we did get the weather station put up and we got back into the house, which I'm guessing it may be maybe 100 yards out there to the weather station from the house. But we fired up the... Uh, deal inside and and it, it, it did well it, it picked everything up and everything's going well I have not uh, got the uh, program uh, loaded the app and all of that stuff yet to uh, connect to it but I'll get that done maybe today or so but this morning we are 61 degrees right now 59% humidity. We've got an 8.5 mile per hour wind, which is not very much. And the barometric pressure is 30.13. Hey, it works great. Now, I was a little concerned about the size of this display but after I got it set up and everything it works great it's just the right size and where we have it uh, located uh, I can see it uh, real well from uh, my chair so if I can see it from my chair we're doing good now just getting it up and uh, getting all my programming and all that kind of stuff where I can download the information from it. So they're calling for maybe some weather to come through here in the next few days and we'll be watching, uh, checking out, making sure this 
uh, ambient uh, weather station works like it should and hopefully it will hopefully I'll be able to download and do all those things with it but I really appreciate you guys that watch our videos we're trying to to grow our channel and we I know we have a lot of different things that we talk about but you know whenever you're here on the ranch like we are there's a lot of different things going on uh, we have a lot of stuff out in the shop of course stuff here on the ranch uh, uh, I do quite a bit of mowing as as you've noticed and we want you to share this with somebody else and we are here hopefully as an encouragement we'd like to encourage you so please if you will uh, and I can't remember all of these things I don't know why but uh, they want you they want us to share they want us to subscribe they want us to like it they want us to ring the notification bell and they want you to uh, to make a little little note down there uh, to us in the memo so please do that and help us grow our channel uh, we've been trying to reach out and and give a little encouragement but I'm I'm encouraged about the weather station I'm encouraged that we have a new one that is working uh, correctly and we'll be giving some uh, some more thoughts on the weather as I had noted previously uh, in this video or maybe we may have to break this up into two videos I've been doing the weather stuff for a long time and I enjoy it uh, and we're going to continue to do that so dear friends share our videos encourage somebody today and may God bless you and may God bless your family Thank you.